check here. Right, I'm going to check here. Yeah. Now, that one was okay. We, we didn't have any issue with the signal like that first one. Although I think it actually was the energy of the guest. <laughs> Okay, I'm just telling her to come. Teal's out there. I'm just going to tell have her pop her head in if she wants to. She's got to go, I'm sure. Okay, we live? Okay. Oh, we are live. So, <laughs> We're live, and the sound is on. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. I'm going to give people a little bit of time to come in. I don't want to jump right into it. Uh, how's it going, Brandon Medina? Uh, we still need to collaborate. And uh, welcome, everybody, back. This is our third guest out of four possibly five today um, so thank you for let me just share this because this isn't I'm not used to doing it this way uno momento we got Ty here with us uh, we, we have a little surprise guest we're live come here Dude, I just said. we're live so watch your everything watch you your P's and everything, <laughs> everything you say can will be helping I gotta be a good girl can just come here and let everybody see your Hi, face. Hi, Susie. Good to see you. All right, yeah, all right. Let everybody... You can sit on my lap. How are you doing? <laughs> can you just do this? Right. Okay. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Where is the thing? Right there. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I just came by to see Todd. I didn't I'm going to be here for at least dog. another week. I know. So, so, so I'm standing by. Huh? I just popped in to town. Uh-huh. And I'm going to come back with Crystal later, so when you're on a break, we'll chat. What time? What's good for you? Uh, I don't know, 5.30? I have doubles with me, so. Five. <laughs> Is that what you call them? <laughs> yeah, they're my doubles, because I got two. Beautiful. I'd like to see them. I'd like to meet them. Either you want me to come and say hi? No, 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 no. When, when I yeah. see you at 5.30. Love, everyone. Okay. Bye. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being so gracious and coming in. And showing your beautiful face. Okay, so here we go. Listen, this is everybody knows. Okay, I got to get back in the groove. This has been. I've been getting activated. Ground. I've been getting activated every. I turned into a lion at four o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah, we had these friends over. We're chilling out. We stayed up a little late, but that's okay because we don't have to be here till noon. And uh, so Morgan and I do our normal thing. Put our hands together about two twenty this morning. And mm -hmm. we're both tired, and all of a sudden, boom, everything goes crazy. There's this huge divine masculine thing was happening. And I was like, I don't remember all the details, but I remember, like, energetically, I was like, I'm tired of waiting. I've had enough. I'm here, and I'm ready, you know. And I guess it wasn't too exciting for her because I could hear her start, start <laughs> snoring. <laughs> And so then I heard, get out of the bed. And I got out of the bed, and I stood in front of the mirror, and I just, this big mane appeared. Oh. And, I, like, my muscles got really big. And I thought, oh, my oh. God. Like, I'm, like, I'm morphing. It was with the two eyes. It wasn't a third eye thing. So then Julian I, looks like a lion today, too. He does. Yeah. He usually Do does. Do I look like a lion? No, you look more like a... <laughs> <laughs> so this is Susie Byler, right? Everybody knows hey, everyone. Susie in the Sedona community and many people online, including a very good friend of mine who's in your temple. Was it temple? Yeah. Uh, Julia? Yes, Julia yeah. Weiss. Yeah, I met her in uh, she's Florida. Nice. Yeah, she's yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I met her husband. We, we yes. did a conference, Morgan and I did a conference down there. Yeah, she was um, very excited to come to your conference. Yeah, it was, it was a really good time. It was a really good time, and uh, rest in power, Jessica, uh, one of the, the uh, coordinators of it. She transitioned about a month yes. ago. Yes. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, Susie, it's always good to see you. You're not wearing that funny hat today. Although I got a new one. They gave me funny one of those. Hat? We had a, a, a guy come in, Rob, <laughs> Rob uh, Porter, I think is his name. Rob Potter. He came in and uh, he brought me one. So it's now uh, a pyramid. It's in my house, yes, in my <laughs> wherever I'm. So uh, let's see here. We're all good? All right. So, uh, yeah, Susie is, is uh, dear to my heart. She's uh, mm. collaborated with us a few times, and she does powerful work. She's also, one of the reasons I really like Susie is because she's, she's real. Like, you don't shy, you don't put on a mask, you know. <laughs> Literally. You, you, you don't. <laughs> I told you, hey, I got triggered, and you're like, good for you. You know, but I mean, like you put hey. up, you put up posts when you're happy, when you're mad, when you're sad. Yeah. Did you, know, you see my recent one? I haven't had a chance to see um, anything. My grief post. I put a grief post. A grief post. Yeah. Okay. I think I might have seen that about three or four days ago. Maybe. Yeah, like d this morning, maybe. Oh no, or no, yesterday. I didn't see it. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Time is yeah. funny. I know it is, <laughs> isn't it? So look, we've talked, yeah. we've talked a lot, and so I don't know. To to me, I just like. You know what's going on <laughs> with, what's, with, what's, with me with the planet well, with like Game more like like you know <laughs> every the question a little well, more well every month has been like yeah. every month we go through this year in 2020 has been like oh my god that was like the biggest yeah. month we've ever had yeah you know and and then and then the summer came yeah june hit and it was like like everything just went nuts right yeah. June and then July was like bigger than in the same pattern. And October. Now we're in September. I'm just trying to get through September. I know, I know, but I'm just saying October. Yeah. It's going to be a bit explosive. So. Is it? Yeah, and I don't say this in terms of this is what I'm creating. Mm. This is just what Prime Creator has said. Um, it's going to be a bit explosive in terms of just the things that are going to be, just some disclosure, not full on yet, but yeah. some mild disclosure and. In terms of general disclosure. Like yeah, like disclosure. government banking system stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. I wish that, they... Yeah, it needs to happen. That's, that's what and, I'm saying. And energetically also. Just, you know, we're just continually getting more and more streams of energy coming to the planet. September, uh, we busted out with this uh, core energy from the planet coming. So mm -hmm. generally what's been happening is we've been receiving energy externally from the galaxy from the universe from the great central sun and beyond i mean we've just been getting all kinds of energy to assist mm -hmm. but september we started getting the core of the earth started sending up her energy oh i see what you mean i hadn't heard that i hadn't heard anybody say that but that you say that did you feel it yes yeah. i remember oh let me pull it back up so this would have <laughs> been we left on the 16th so I would say this was around like nine, seven, nine, eight, nine, nine, like around there. Well, where I live, there's a, uh, a dry riverbed. Okay. So I have like a forest in the backyard, right? Nice. It's really cool. And I remember I was, I was standing there and there's this group of trees I kind of talked to, mm -hmm. but there's this one big mother tree. Yeah. So I was talking to the, to the, uh, to the, the group of trees mm -hmm. and I heard, Hey, come over here. So I went over to the mother tree and I remember what I got from her was like, okay, like I even put my hands up. I put my hands up like this mm -hmm. and and it was like I was making a column. Now this I was used to, pulling in the cosmos energy, yeah, you know? Yeah. But I could then I could feel it coming the other way, right? Yes. And it was like meeting in the solar. Yes. And it was like going, Yes. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I did feel it. And to me it felt very I don't know, it was like it, I don't wanna say it was masculine. But there was like, it was almost well, like... It's grounding. Grounding. In a yeah, way, yeah. yeah. Sometimes grounding energy to me feels masculine. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, very grounding and also also activating. Activating our root chakras, activating our solar and yeah. our sacral, you know, the, the lower. Activating the lower. Because some of us are all activated up here. But exactly. But we, we need to be yeah. connected down here because... Yeah. These energies are going to keep coming. They're going to yeah. keep blasting us. Yeah. So in order to integrate them, we need to be fully grounded. Yeah. So Mother Gaia, thank you. Yes. Decided thank to help us out by giving us some of that core. Yeah, it makes sense. Core essence energy. Yeah, my my, uh, and I'm not trying to be funny, but but like even last night, my lower chakra, and I'm not talking about a physical, you know, arousal. I'm just talking about the, the Kundalini. Yeah. The the, the and it's yeah. been like. 
like last night was like yeah. uh, chakragasm, chakragasm, yeah. chakragasm. And you're in the fire of the red rocks. Yeah, maybe. yeah. And the night before like, was the same way. Yeah. You know, uh, I think the night before we had this 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 merging with some some people that were connected with. Yeah. But it happened in the ethers, and I mean the 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 the, so uh, the Kundalini energy was like the last two nights was yeah. just like oh my god I mean like I feel like I'm gonna literally jump out of my body I was out of my body last night oh okay no we'll doubt. come back to your body <laughs> that you're here in your body no for real because again to integrate these Absolutely. energies you yeah. gotta be in the body yeah true and I'm saying that to myself as well yeah <laughs> um yeah. I, you know what I want to talk about patterns yeah it's really important right now for all of us to be looking at themes that are coming up in our life, mm -hmm. themes that people are reflecting to us, patterns that are showing up, mm -hmm. because most likely these patterns are not serving, right. and we need to reprogram, repattern. And deprogram and reprogram. Deprogram, reprogram. Yeah. But I mean, and so how, how, I know there's probably more than one method to that, but how do you, how do you do that? Well, for me, it generally happens in reflection of others. So... As an example, something that's recently happened is people have been projecting on me a mm. lot, mm. like stuff that they've done and then making it my fault. Mm. Like narcissistic frequency, kind of. Maybe. Yeah. Other frequencies too. But yeah. they're, the overall idea is they are, they, they've done something, they don't want to look at it, mm -hmm. and so they project it on me. Mm -hmm. And I am asking myself, why does this keep happening? Right. I'm tired of this. Right. I'm tired of being made wrong for something I didn't do. And so I'm looking at what what is this? What's going on? And someone sent me, someone posted on my Facebook a link about being a scapegoat. And so I watched the video and I was like, holy crap, I'm the scapegoat. Mm. And I don't say that from a victim place because I take full responsibility from you say it so you can neutralize the program. Yeah, yeah, I say it so I can see what's going on and yeah. say, oh, I'm not going to play this role anymore. Right, right. And whatever's underneath that that had me play that role that I need to heal, yeah. I'm going to heal that. Right. No, so, I get that. Yeah, we speak the same language. I mean, it's yeah. what I love about what you say is you're taking full responsibility. You're not looking for, uh, you're not looking, you, you don't even have, there's not even the possibility, even though they did something. Yeah. You're still not externalizing it. You're saying, okay, why does this keep showing up yeah. in me? And uh, and that's a, that's a big one. Escape well, I may be one. externalizing it a little bit. I'm still human. Well, but you know what I mean. You're not you're not living. You're not swimming in that pool of water. You know that pool of yeah. muddy water yeah. and staying there. You're you might yeah. We go. I, I told you I got triggered Monday morning. Yeah. You know and and you said congratulations. Which, <laughs> but I didn't stay there. I immediately yeah. went to work. I immediately took it into myself. That's also why I said congratulations, because I knew you didn't stay there. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're but welcome. uh but I but this is cool because you know what? This is this is the real deal. Yeah. You know This is the real work. This is the grounded work. That's right. Like yeah. I could say, Oh man, why is everyone always projecting on me? Oh poor me. But it's like, no, I don't want to be the victim. Mm. I'm not gonna play the victim role. Yeah. So I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out what is in me that needs to be healed. Where do I need to find my wholeness yeah. so that I'm no longer playing this role? Yeah. And it and it's hard because it may mean the loss of friendships. There's been a lot of that. Yeah. There's been a lot of that. I, I was just talking to my somebody. Heart, my heart hurts yeah. right now. My heart is, yeah. there. I'm actually grieving. I may look happy, but I'm, I actually, I'm going through a big grief process right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, I've had, we were just talking about that this morning. Uh, I've been unfriended a lot. And mm -hmm. most of the unfriending, probably almost really all of it, has been because I don't respond to a message. Because I can't. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm spending all my time to function, you know, and to stay right. on top of and me. and to provide this service for people. Right. So yeah. I, it's not like I don't like somebody. It's I not try, personal. A lot of, I'll, I'll go through like every four or five weeks and I'll find the time to go through everything and I'll get back. And the, most of the time people are like, you know, anyway, my point is that I get it. That's part of what's happening. We're having yeah. to let go of people, you know? Yeah. Um, 
and it may come back around. It's true. These people That's may come back. My true. heart is open. Yes. If they want to take responsibility for their yeah. stuff, yeah. you know, they can come back in my life. This is a good subject. This yeah. is a very good subject. We're, I, was, I know. Yeah, we're, That's why I wanted to pick it up. <laughs> we were having a discussion last night about some things that had occurred with Solji over the years. Yeah. And there was a pattern. And that pattern was agenda. People came at us with agenda. They didn't get what they want. And I'm talking energy, not people. Yeah. Uh, then they would attack us. Yeah. And then they would conspire against us. And yeah. we, we took it upon ourselves you know, thank you, Morgan Lee, because I didn't have the wherewithal mm. to take responsibility. What can we do to change our field and not focus on them? Even though, like you said, we're human and we, we want to every now and then. But that was kind of the attitude was, look, you know, um, we're going to continue to work on ourselves. We're going to have to leave this situation over here, this person, yeah. this energy, yeah. and maybe they'll come back. And, you know, this is what I got out of it. And I really say this to myself, too, like you said. You're saying this to yourself first. You know, there's a lot to be said in this energy now, okay? Because it's so supportive and it's such an immediate reciprocation. There's a lot to be said for us to swallow our pride when we F up and go to somebody and say, hey, you know what? I screwed up. Yeah. That is so powerful, yeah. you know? And, it's, and, it, and the thing is, it's so powerful not to give you know, n not to make the other person feel better, although that's a byproduct, but to do it for yourself. To say, wow, you know what, I did it. You know, I mean, that it takes guts. It, takes it does take guts. It takes a lot of guts. Yeah. It's a, it's a muscle that I've built to be able to confront my stuff. But I kind of took it to an extreme, and I started accepting responsibility for stuff that wasn't mine. Right. Which is just as dangerous. Yes. And yeah. I, yeah. It's a whole big story, but... Yeah, but I mean, this is the real stuff that's going on. Yeah. Uh, God, I wish I could. Oh, so Morgan had, she kind of gets like themes of the month, right, as they come up. And a big one here was uh, self-neglect. Mm. Uh, and all the different programs attached like this. Wow. So self-neglect is uh, wow. taking on other people's stuff and, and, and yeah. you know, over. That's and, not honoring yeah. yourself. But one of the interesting things, too, that I found out about, this process because this is part of what you know this is the kind of stuff she does is like with you it was the scapegoat right yeah so with me and I'm not trying to be funny but over the years as I was traveling around um, you know I obviously didn't have any money you know and I still like it's not like you were rich or anything we're not but but I had nothing you know so I was at the mercy because of my programming of hey can I you know I need a place to stay and so women uh, would come on to me, even though they knew I was with Morgan, even though I, know I would talk about her all the time and whatever, they would come on to me overtly, covertly, whatever, but still it was, the it, was, energy was it was blatant. Yeah. So I would tell Morgan, you know, that pisses me off, you know, like I tell them, I don't understand, they're insincere, and then I was personalizing it, and she kept telling me, it's active in your field. I said, but I'm not a philanderer, you know, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not... A, but yeah. what, I, what I learned from it was it was active in my field and I identified with being loyal, but I was totally separating myself from even, oh, that's not me. You know what I mean? So in other words, I had to, I had to neutralize, I had to zero point the two. So what I guess what I'm trying to say, sometimes these, what I learned was sometimes these loops that come around uh, or what you see in someone else that you don't see in yourself, it is active in you, but it's the polarity that's active in you. You know, you're, and, and so. Everybody's our mirror. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. I know. I'm, it's not my original thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you came. But, up <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. You it, know. It is true. It, it really is. Everyone serves us in some way, and yeah. sometimes it's a sweet compliment, and sometimes it's. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, it is. <gasps> yeah. And yeah, this is uh, this is interesting because I've seen, uh, really, you know, we had this uh, incredible. A thing that we collaborated on Saturday it was an online thing uh, but we did it at the yoga studio and the energy was just like this co-creation and collaboration no oh, agenda sweet. you know and you can see this evolvement that's happening in these types of examples and then Saturday we had that little get-together which was just come by we're having a meetup Sunday night 
and it kind of the same thing but you could see some of those old patterns still playing out and it was interesting because more and more people just observing it not engaging it you know which i found really interesting because normally there's there's that you see it on, online on the post people going back and forth you know what oh fuck, yeah i know what you mean. <laughs> i did a whole post about neutrality trying to address that yeah. uh let's let's talk about uh observing uh -huh. let's talk about observing because it's so easy right now to be triggered and yeah. to get sucked into the drama and yeah. does that serve anything in anyone no mm -mm. but observing gives you a clear mind and a clear yeah. perspective so well and it's good too it, it, well what i always hear from my team is shut the f up you know so don't just observe it keep your mouth shut <laughs> because if you keep your mouth shut uh, the chances of, of you engaging and perpetuating yeah. this frequency right. is, is slim and none. Uh, but the minute you open your mouth, you know, about, because you see a lot of that, which is, yeah. I got to be right, it's got to be my way, uh, yeah. you're wrong. Yeah. I mean, like that stuff's all going away. It doesn't yeah. exist in 5D. You know what I mean? I, I do, and that's my practice right now. Like, all I want to do right now is, is talk to this person who projected on me and be like, this is what you need to know about yourself if you want to improve yourself. And it's like, not my business, unless they want to know and come to me and ask, STFU. That's right. Just That's right. Go. And we I'm say that to ourselves, you know. <laughs> my energy is better used if it's focused on what I'm creating. Yeah, this actually just something. happened uh, with one of my, uh, I should talk about this. Yeah, I will. One of my children. <laughs> I've got six beautiful children, and so... Holy cow, two, six? Yeah, two, I yes. I did not know that. So I got two, yeah. I'm a good Catholic. <laughs> good Mexican. <laughs> but, uh, so two of them are pretty, well, these particular two are pretty close in years, like two years apart. And one of them uh, went into the abyss, went into the dark mm -hmm. night, whatever you want to call it. So the other one sends me a note and says, you know, so-and-so's going through something, and she's, you know... In other words, she was taking on mm. her sister's stuff. Mm, yeah. And I said, hey, you know what? It's none of your business. Sometimes the best thing you can do for, for those that we love is leave them alone. Let them work it out. And that's what she did. I talked to her last night. She's like, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I'm good. You know? So, yeah, we've all got to handle our own shift. I mean, this is, yeah. this is the thing. And so losing friendships and... Being direct and standing our ground and, you know, these things. Uh, it's these, honoring. It is honoring. It's and honoring. You, you said you wanted to talk about patterns. Well, these aren't the patterns that we had. <laughs> these are new patterns. And these new patterns rub up against the old patterns. <laughs> and so, yeah. But I think, I think we're gaining ground on it. I think more and more Definitely. people. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. More and more people are awakening. I'm yeah. sure you've talked about this already today, yeah. I'm sure. What's that? More yeah. and more people are awakening oh, yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, what I'm, what I'm finding interesting, and you've been doing this a long time, what I'm finding interesting are the dynamics in the light worker community. Oh. Like, I'm like going, I'm watching <sighs> this stuff and I'm going, wow, this is really <sighs> trippy yeah. how you can have a certain energetic force that's, say, been out there a long time. Okay, like it makes me understand there are no exceptions. So let's say you have this powerful energetic force that's a group or a person who has a massive following or whatever, and I'm watching it crumble. And it's not just one, and it's like the, the message to me from the universe is don't stagnate. Don't think that you've got the answer and that this method, this modality, this channel, this whatever is, is all you need, the end-all cure-all, because it's not, pal. Because everything that was created out of the duality, even light worker communities or even whatever, is going to crumble. You know, everything constructed in the five D is made of five D frequency. There is no suspicion or forgiveness or healing or all these things we deal with in, in the five D. Yeah. What do you think? I. I. You're, um, you're channeling. Uh, You're about to channel. I, mean, I I feel grief over what's happening in the light worker community. Yeah. 
people coming at each other, bashing each other, yeah, yeah. attacking each other. This is not how we move forward. Mm -hmm. This is not how we create the new earth. Mm -hmm. We don't attack each other. Mm -hmm. We hear each other out. We learn other perspectives. We honor other perspectives. Yeah. But we don't try to prove I'm right and you're wrong. That's that is not what we do as light workers. No. And it is absolutely it's hard for me to speak about it. It's I can tell. it's absolutely yeah. it, it, it my heart is destroyed over it. Mm. And I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's no, just I know you're it's not. just really it is, but like it's, this. I can tell you feel it. You, yeah. you 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 own it not just for yourself but for that for everyone. And there's a there's a lot of not a lot there's a significant number of women particularly women out there that do that that i mean this is part of their makeup so i can feel what you're saying and i think another part of it too is you know like okay so like the uh i gotta be right thing yeah uh you know the the open-mindedness that we that that's gotten so many of us to this point i mean that's uh that's a have to like the universe doesn't have a lot of have tos, but yeah. you got to be open. So when you start <laughs> yeah. taking a, you start drawing a line uh, or throwing down an absolute yeah. to the universe, this is this is the the great revealing, and and it, nobody's it left out. It is, yeah. and and people's fears are coming to the surface, and you know we're being bombarded with fear messages, and you have to do this, and you have to stay at home, and you have to wear a mask, and you have to be afraid, and you have to you know, all these fear messages being bombarded, whether or not there's fear within us, those of us who are empathic, sensitive, yeah. we're feeling the collective fear. So there's yeah. just fear all around. And then what do people do when they're in fear? They fight, fright, or flight. Mm -hmm. They don't listen to another person's perspective. Mm -hmm. They, they're just trying to self-preserve. Yeah. So everyone, even people that you know we think are highly evolved, we're all just trying to self-preserve. Yeah. We can't hear another point of view. No, like, no. This is where the, just... this is where the silence and the quiet and the STFU comes in. Yes. The, you know. And this is also yeah. where the humility comes in. Like, I'm not better than you. I don't know anything more than you. I'm going to continue to do my inner healing work no matter how famous I am or how far yeah. along in the journey I am whatever it is I'm going to continue to do my healing work so that I can collaborate with other people yes who are in that space where their hearts are open and ready to collaborate and ready to create something better on this planet without expectation yeah. just coming together everybody bring what you have and that's what we had happen uh, Saturday on like, and I'm that's that's so beautiful. Yeah. And and the tricky thing is with what's happening now with the whole COVID thing, is we're literally told you cannot come together, you cannot be I within know. six feet of each other. Yeah. So the people who are buying that narrative won't come together to co-create something new. Yeah. Because they're told not to. They're scared. They're being good citizens. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever their reason or their belief system is about that. Yeah, and this and is so it's very fascinating. And it's just the tip of the iceberg. It's, uh, and what I mean by that yeah. is, you know, I mean, I'm talking about uh, we're having a problem with this stage of the game. Right. Uh, what what about, happens if it gets worse? Well, well, think about it. If we yeah. can't, if you're watching, let's say, light worker, uh, things that originated in the light worker community, say, 10 years ago or even yeah. five years ago, that have elements of, of duality. They're crumbling. We're yeah. watching it happen. I think yeah. we know, we're actually, well, I, I, that's too much. But anyway, what I was getting at is uh, we're sitting here at this stage of the game with what's going on and these things are occurring in our community and we're supposed to be the pillars of the, the columns of exactly. life. Exactly, okay? yes. So now what this happens- That's why my heart is broken. Yeah. So what happens <laughs> exactly. when we have to why actively it? participate in the collapse of the financial system to include ownership, debt, loans, money, uh, these traditional parts of our patterns like you brought up, our, our systems, this is all going away. The universe is not going to allow you to step into a 5D frequency and experience if you're still tied to the, to the, uh, to the old ways. And those old ways are represented by 
uh, these violations of universal law, such as taxation yeah. and, and control and resistance and the mass thing, you know? Like a guy almost like attacked me in, in the Walgreens because I didn't have a mask on. Yeah. They uh, said something to Morgan in Sedona yeah. at the grocery store yesterday. Yeah. A, a customer. Yeah. Uh, you know, get away from me, yeah. you know, kind of thing. Like, So, I mean, it's important that we maintain our balance because we also got to remember why we came here. There are people or souls that came here specifically to assist humanity. During to, this time. That's right. So yeah. if you're going to swim in the muddy water, you're at, you actually shouldn't have come, you know. And I say that to myself. Ooh. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you're just perpetuating the whole issue that we came here to transform. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yes. That's that's yes. what I was saying last night. I couldn't stop. Those chakra gasms were coming up. I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> then I turned into a lion. I wanted to eat meat. I was like, I want to eat a meat. I want to kill a, a elk or something. I was on the balcony like I was perched like a cat. Like I was going to jump off of myself. So What's out there? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm kidding, but I'm not. But uh, All right. Uh, I but, would like to sing a song. Yes. Well, let me ask you a couple questions, though. Oh, okay. So, your chill, your dragon book? Yeah. That was beautiful, by oh, the way. Oh, thank you. The and dragon the, who swallowed the sun. The dragon who swallowed the sun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just had to tell you. I wanted to tell you that. That, uh, yeah, that I, that I really, you, really, I really, really, I don't know. It, for some reason, it just, like, touched me. It's a soul, yeah. it's yeah. a soul connecting book. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, a, it's absolute, and I love Christian. I love dragons. Okay, you're gonna sing. You want me to? Only one question. You said you had some questions. Just one. I'll think of more. Are okay. you in a hurry? No, I'm not in a hurry. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, you need oh. any music? No, I'm oh, you just want... gonna keep it simple. Okay. Are you gonna go without music? I'm just gonna yeah. I'm okay. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Okay. May I be. Be at peace. May all beings be at peace. May all beings be at peace. Was that May I touch in? your heart? Yes. My course, hands are buzzing. You might, Absolutely. you might feel something. Did you channel that? Yeah. Um, I kind of forgot the way it went. I have the original version on my YouTube. But you still get the energy. What's your YouTube channel? 
Uh, just go on YouTube and look up Susie Byler. Yeah. It's Shamalata and the number two, but... That's too hard to even Yeah, I know, I know, I so know. Uh, just... What about, uh, <laughs> somebody uh, asked about the book. I told them what the name was, but... What? If you go to Dragons mm -hmm. Speak. Dragons Speak. Dot com. Dragons so two speak. S's in the middle. Dragons Speak. Dragons Speak, two S's in yeah. the middle. You dot can, com. You can find the book. Dot com. Yeah. You can find the, the book. The Dragon Who Swallowed the Sun. It's on Amazon. But if you go to that website, you can right navigate anything. Yeah. You can buy stuff or buy the book or whatever. So have you have you channeled a bunch of songs? I didn't know you yeah. sang. Okay, I didn't know yeah. that. I have two mm. CDs just mm. with toning and didgeridoo, and then mm. I have a lullaby so a CD mm. that's just in digital form. It's not. Lullaby. Yeah. Like for babies? Yeah. Or for grown, for grown, your inner child? For grown men? Sure. 58 year old. For, yeah, for your inner child. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Somebody it, put it up. Thank you. Suzanne, Jan, Jane, Joey. Thank, thank you. you, Suzanne. Yes, very cool. Yeah. Uh, if someone reminds me, I will. The lullaby CD is unlisted on YouTube, but I'll share it with you guys. I'll share it on the thread. Okay. Yeah. And I would say share. Now, this is in um, Solar G1 Studios Facebook. Okay. And you can also go to, oh, yeah. No, I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Okay. But that's okay. Because I'm going to run it as a live premiere on YouTube as well. Cool. So. Awesome. If, if you get a chance in a day or two, you might want to go to. The, uh, I will download this from Facebook. I'll put it on my YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, do we'll that. Share it all over. Right on. Yeah. Right on. That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Support each other. Very, uh, very impressive. Uh, I didn't know you did that. I know you played the Didge and, yeah. you know, and made those Transformer hats or whatever that was. <laughs> Activator <laughs> halos. The thing, I love, the thing I love about you, no, but see, here's the thing. I'm multifaceted. Okay? I'm probably going to get in a little trouble for this, but uh, but I, I'm, I'm like you. I'm always saying this to myself first, okay? Uh, I don't want to be plastic. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to put yeah. on a mask. And that that some of those potentials are so subtle and ingrained in us, we have to stay on our toes with ourselves. 100%. But one of the things I really like about you, because in this community, I mean, I, this is like 2,200 episodes of this show, right? Congratulations. And so think about, like, thank you. Think about all the different types of people, Yeah. right? And and so let's face it. we're for, In this community, most of us were displaced in normal circles we were weirdos and crazy and eccentric and had these idiosyncrasies and all this stuff check 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 but, but what i love about you is you you really do own everything you do yeah you're very committed you're very serious you you it's the top priority in your life every day yeah. and you this is my life yeah my sole mission is everything there's nothing yeah. outside of it for me that's you're very versatile, yeah. uh, you know, and you and you just come with your you come with your lunch pail when you go to work every day. You're you're here to work, and I, th yeah. I think I have to be versatile. Yeah, I would not be able yeah. to survive on this planet yeah. otherwise. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. It's not an easy place to be sometimes. No. and and you're also very upfront with your human aspect too. Hundred percent human. Yeah, which is well, you know how I feel about it. Human is the yeah. hero. That's right. That's right. The human. I forgot. Well, we have I a new hashtag. We have a new hashtag. It's called "The Human Is the Fucking Hero." Yeah. <laughs> when things. When things <laughs> when, I actually, yeah, we are. I actually had a. This is funny. Our I just humanity is where our power is. Of course it is. Yeah. Well, look what's happening with the body now. Like the body is becoming what? Like this. The body's superconductor. I know. The body's becoming like. Like one of the multi-dimensional aspects, it's starting to communicate. Yeah. It's starting to like do like alchemic things. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, I'm part of this team too. I right? heard you call him this afternoon. I was at the creek and I was like, I need to go home and stop in and say hi to Todd. There you go. Yeah. So telepathy is. It is. It is. On. It is t uh, switching on big yeah. time, big time. And the other thing too, I think. I know there's a lot of chaos. You know, and, and of course we know that there's a certain level of chaos before birth, you know, yes. before alignment. So we got to yes. go easy on ourselves and easy on each other. But yeah. I think one of the things that's happened in 2020, which is a first in my opinion, okay, uh, for the most part, is that there's starting to be real proof in our personal experiences and journeys 
that it works. That like all of our work is coming to fruition. Mm. All the stuff we did in the past, all the stuff we're doing in the present, mm. it's starting to get, and it's not like we make these big leaps like, oh, I went from here to there, but we're making steady, 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 steady you know, yeah. and the triggers don't last as long. And, you know, and, and, and the understanding of like the interaction that you had with your, with your friend, yeah. uh, I've had them too. I just had one about 10 days ago. Um, you know, our awareness is, is coming in uh, and overriding of the old patterns. Yes, it still hurts. You're in grief. These things are happening, but we're able to... I'm to, also you know. in celebration, too, because yeah. Yeah. as a planet, we are rebirthing. I mean, this is also a first in 2020, as far as I know, because yeah. the whole planet is doing the same thing, sort of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. We're all in this thing. Yes that's happening worldwide that is true when has this happened before mm, not during my lifetime maybe maybe at the most of the world wars but even then some of the countries even, were untouched. even then yeah yeah some of the continents and, were untouched. yeah and this yeah. is like everyone everyone on the planet unless you're living in the yeah. bush under a rock you know yeah. everyone is experiencing a shift yeah and that's Absolutely. powerful and you're Inside seeing it. you're seeing these these uh, points of points of context like these these like for instance for me I drive down the road I see somebody jogging I hope I don't offend anybody and they're wearing a mask and I'm like going look I don't jog anymore but when I used to jog it was hard enough breathing without a mask I know, you know? I don't know how people do it or even just being outside and having a mask I'm like wow that's like yeah. are, it, did they forget you know I don't know it's just like a, so you see all these different points of contrast yes and, yeah. and 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 so lot of contrast. yeah so it's yeah. it makes it it's a really good proving ground or laboratory uh to kind of develop these these uh methods of owning it yeah like you know well why am i talking about the person that's out jogging with a mask why is that any of my business shut the f up but if it keeps coming up there's something in me i'm not seeing and that's the whole point yeah. You know, like, like, am, am I, I'm the creating the separation between mm. that mirror and myself. I'm yeah. the one that's doing it. They're not doing it. Ooh, that's good. We are the line of separation yeah. always in yeah. every case. Yeah. You know, so that's, I just want to say, if you choose to wear a mask, I don't judge you. It's totally your choice. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'm totally cool with it. I don't, yeah. I may not understand it if you're outside in nature, breathing the fresh yeah. air, but yeah. your choice. Absolutely. And that's, and that's the thing. Uh, and even in. I mean, I'm a little amazed going certain places and seeing the level of complicity. Oh my goodness, I have to tell you a story. So I was yes. in Bryce Canyon the other week mm -hmm. hiking and you know, not many people on the trail, but every once in a while, people would come towards my buddy and I, and as they got closer, they would put their mask on to pass us. And we would just look at each other and be That's like- trippy. Whoa, what, did that just actually happen? That's trippy. Like, we're in the cleanest, most pristine air possible. No. Do I? Am I scary? Do I? No. What? <laughs> you might have morphed. You might have been. You know. It your... was wild. No, that's Talk that's that's contrast. trippy. That's yeah, very it was trippy. So wild. But you know, again, what they may you know we may see that as, wow, their level of of uh, you know conditioning is is worse than mine. But but at the same time, it's a mirror. And there's, there's something that or, they have that's much stronger than us. You know, or I don't maybe know. they have a legit yeah. health condition and Could they be. feel that putting Could a be. cloth over the face is yeah. protecting them. I Could don't be. know. I, it was just so wild. I, yeah. I just, yeah. every time it happened, I, like my mind was blown every time. Like I couldn't get used to it. It was it was very interesting. Yeah. Do you go out on the land a lot? Yeah, all yeah. the time. And what do, you, what do you get out of it? I mean, I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. I mean, like, yeah. how does it work for you? Oh, what happens to you? Grounding, healing, yeah. uh, being connected with this land helps me reset my energy. Do you have, like, a conscious I, I get, conversation with the land while yeah. you're doing it? Or are Sometimes. You, you're out there just clear, clear mind and... I get downloads. Yeah. The book, The Dragon Who Swallowed the Sun, that mm -hmm. book came when I was sitting at the creek. Yeah. Just, vroom, got out my phone, recorded yeah. it, so I didn't forget it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Far out. Then it was in my phone for a couple of months. My friend's like, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But being on the land, I mean, it's, it's everything. Nature is everything. Yeah. The energetic signatures that I get from nature 
take me back to myself, take me back to my soul, reminds me who I am, yeah. reminds me of my purity, reminds me of yeah. like what I actually am made of. Yeah. I'm not made of what comes to the TV, I'm made of what comes out of the trees. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. I'll just sit there and watch nature. Yeah. yeah. Far out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to go to uh, Three Kings. You heard of that? Is that a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Three Kings in Cottonwood or something? It's in Borden Canyon. Oh. So it was, it, no, they were, oh, okay. They were, <laughs> well, no, I would have said the same. I would more believe me. I'm like the most, yeah. But, uh, Maybe I'm hungry. I'm thinking about food. It's, in the, it's, a, it's a place, evidently, Ty was telling me about it. Because Ty, Ty, if you tell Ty your birthday, he'll tell you what quadrant of Sedona oh. is like your spot. Right. Oh, sweet. Among the many things that he does, by the way. But anyway, so I told him where my, what my day, birthday was, and he said, it's so yours is Three Kings, which is in Boynton Canyon, but it's like a pretty good hike. Not a lot of people know about it. Okay. And so. You go all the way back? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I've been to Boynton Canyon, but I've, I didn't go very far. Right. I do remember when I went, though, they said if you walk too far, you'll have a little red laser on you, and you'll hear a military voice telling you to turn around. <laughs> So when he told me it's like a good hike, I'm wondering if that's going to be in that section. I'm going to probably not. Yeah. No, I I don't think Hopefully so. Hopefully my frequency has cleared anything, any authority wearing a gun. Yeah, that, there you go. True. Yeah. You were talking about patterns. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had a pattern with, uh, you know, like YouTube episodes with the police. Right now, this goes back a few years. What do you mean? Well, I would watching the those YouTube. Yeah, so that okay, so so you know how like when when a lot of us woke up, we started watching nine eleven stuff, and so yeah, I got uh, into that. Okay. So okay. I had this thing. Now this is going back like maybe like six years ago. So I was like even doing memes, you know, okay. with with you know bringing the I am soul into hey this is bullshit the police brutality or whatever. So I worked my way out of it, and then um, I, I I got away from it. You know, I, 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 I wasn't watching them. But then after the COVID thing hit, <laughs> we moved to Arkansas. We had our first place ever, three and a half years. And uh, we, we, we found this place, or it found us in Arkansas. And um, so it's kind of like, it's by itself. Like there's a subdivision over here, subdivision here. And then our place is like by itself. And it's on a hill. So you have to go down this street, which is a dead end. And the only reason to go down there would go into our driveway. Okay. Right? So you can't see the back of the house, is okay. what I'm getting at. Well, it was vacant for a while, and evidently people would go hang out there. So now we're there about a month. Uh, after the COVID thing, I started watching some videos with the COVID thing. And then I'd see a police brutality, and I started watching a few. And I wasn't <laughs> realizing what was happening. I thought, well, why am I watching this? I'm not getting a charge, but there's a reason I'm watching it now. So we're there about a month. We're about to go to Lowe's, and uh, we pull out of the driveway, and this cop car comes in and pins me in. And he gets out of the car and he says, what are you doing back here? And I said, we live here. And then he says, give me your identification, your license. I said, no, I'm not giving you my license. I didn't do anything. And then Morgan's over here in the other seat. She pulls out both of her passports and hands them, <laughs> hands them to him. One's, yeah. But anyway, my point is, is, is uh, I, was, I was watching, uh, and, and that's what, I created that. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I don't I don't watch them anymore. They were in your you know? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it actually happened to me the last time I was here in Sedona. I didn't tell anybody about it. That was the second to the last episode. I was at, All right, Well, if I'm lending you my car, then you better get that out of your <laughs> no, I don't for have sure. It. I don't have it. I, don't, I honestly don't have it. I'm telling right. you. But uh, no. But you do what you need to do. <laughs> no, believe me. No, I'm not. I'm not going there. Good. And the guy was really cool. It all worked out. Yeah. You know, it's no big deal. That's because Morgan was there. She saved your butt. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> that's why. But I'm clear now. I promise you. Thank you, Morgan. You. I'm Divine clear. Feminine. I'm ab <laughs> that's right. Thank you very much, Divine Feminine. Ab absolutely. I don't know where I would be without that. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. I don't where know. Where would any of us be without the Divine Feminine? Yeah, that's true. And you know, I think that's one of the things that's happened. You know, I, I was telling you how for me, June first hit and everything changed. Like I literally came out of the house. I was like, wow, everything looks different. You know, like, and I think what it is for me anyway was has been the emergence of the the completion of the circle. Like you know, the the feminine, 
divine, we're talking energy, mm -hmm. and then the masculine completed the circle. And so mm -hmm. since then, I've been having these, that's what happened last night. I just got, Yeah, oh. Yeah, like mm -hmm. last night, so I was having these graduated experiences of the masculine, true masculine coming in. Then I'm also encountering balanced masculines like Jade and Ty and Michael Mejia and, and Israel. And I'm watching this all happen. I had a few of them come on the show. And so like last night uh, was like a culmination and it just like, I mean, like came in like, and I was just like, like a lion. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of waiting. I'm not waiting anymore. Because was it he, you? Did because, he do it? Did he activate he the He had lion? something to do with it. Yeah, because we're connected at the hip. You know, obviously, <laughs> just like you coming obviously. over here, we know we're having conversations, what yeah. we call dream state. Yeah. It's too obvious, you know. So but, obvious. But anyway, I think that's that's what what I got from it in, in a good way, that, yeah. that those two pieces are in place. And a lot of people have talked about the golden child uh, energy uh, coming out in the uh, winter, winter solstice, you know, which, which uh, falls in line with the pregnancy cycle because the conception occurring in March <laughs> when everybody yeah. got quarantined, yeah. and, you know. What else a, you gotta do? You gotta put your, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering uh, what our baby's gonna look like, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> you and Jade? No, me and the Morgan. <laughs> yeah, me and Jade? Okay, all right. Um, I I want to give Julian a chance because the dear yeah. brother gave me absolutely. Yeah, we got we're good. Are you good? So. Are you good? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Bring him in. Right. Let's go. Sure. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Todd. I'll be here until at least the first. And uh, yeah, and for anyone who wants to stay in touch, oh. I just um, want to invite you to go to yes. creationtemple.com and yes. sign up as a free member, and then you'll get on my yeah. newsletter list. And anytime I'm releasing new content, you'll get an alert in your email inbox. Creation Temple. CreationTemple.com. Uh, and how do you want me to get in touch with you? Oh, about the card? Yeah. Or you want to just give um, me your address? Do or? you have, a f like, do you text?
hopefully we'll get people back in here. We, we're okay. We got on this channel. We only got about 28 people, but they'll come back on. They'll come back on. So uh, this is my friend Julian. I met Julian uh, what in 2018. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. I actually, I actually was intending you. You were involved with that that uh, retreat center out in yeah, uh, California. Yeah, I, I put on a big events out there. One of them yeah. is called Aquatica, and uh, yeah. you, you actually interviewed me, man. I so interviewed. How we, yeah, we made I interviewed about it, and I actually was I was actually here, and uh, I was told to come here, and then I met you. We did the interview, and I was actually going to go cover nice. your your event. Yeah. And I had committed to it, and then I got the call to go to Kauai. Okay. And I was yeah. told. No, it was, yeah. And it was all good, because the interview yeah. was very cool, man. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just so, saying, yeah. my, but that's how close we yeah, came to Yeah, but you, you travel geographically. Yeah. You know, it's a big deal. You yeah. Know? It's like, you know what, Todd? I, I, have, I have a lot of appreciation for what you do, brother. Mm, thank because you. you know what? You know, we need people that can be dedicated and, and put on interviews and create things. And, and Ty and Esteban and uh, Jade, you know, they're doing this whole thing that's created this environment yeah. and it's like all of us are, are like synchronistically with uh, like the total honor working together and I so appreciate this because it's it's raising the vibration of the entire planet because we've all come together with the same intent to raise the entire <laughs> vibration of the planet right on and it's like you know all humankind is going to benefit from what we're doing right now so it's a very big deal and you've been hanging out in Sedona for quite some time, but you just came. You had left and came back. Right? Yeah, I left and came back. I was here from 2015 to 2017, yeah. and I'd visited about approximately 30 times before. I was always drawn back. I'd come here. I'd do a little festival. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'd connect with someone. So, was, but by the time I got back here, I was super connected with the whole community. Yeah. And so uh, when I left in 2017. You know, it was definitely time to leave and, and go do some things in Cali and so on and so forth. And uh, so now uh, I'm engaged in things on even a much more planetary scale. So I'm dealing with the most famous musicians on the entire planet. We're talking Quincy Jones, Bruno Mars, you know, Marvin Gaye's son, uh, Diana Ross, and I'm one of the 15 musical ambassadors for the entire world. And there's only 15 of us, and that's, that's the cap. And uh, so um, I'm super honored to be involved with that. This isn't about Hollywood. It's not about Beverly Hills. This is talking about like uh, real, actual, historical, impactful musicians that have uplifted people's hearts and spirits. And we're all working together. And uh, so the, the musical ambassadorship is a, is a big deal. I take it very seriously. Uh, but you know, I also take it very light, like, oh my God, this is a lot of fun. You know, it's like I love working with these people. Mm. You know, but it's, it's, it's a big thing right now. So is it like a organization? Or? It is. Yeah. It's it's under the uh, uh, international chaplains, and uh, my fiance Andrea Gilmore Van Ders is the president mm -hmm. of the uh, international chaplains. Now a lot of these people I knew before I'd worked with before, but now we're, it's more at a formal level where it's like, okay, we're literally we don't care about money. We don't give a damn about a freaking cent. You mm -hmm. know, it's like no, it's like let's come to the core. It's like, what do what do we want to do? We want to help people. We want to uplift people. We want to do good things in the world. We want to create a bond. And what we say is like, we are all going to uplift the world and we're going to actually do it. This is more like a magical exercise. But these people that have uplifted the world that, that I'm working with, like Andrea, my, my fiance, and, and like all these other famous people, um, we're saying, it's like, no, let's, let's just actually do something different. Let's actually create something that actually uplifts not only the, the world, but we're talking about a, a divine kind of connection here yeah yeah because the intention is divine you know it's not about like oh geez how much money are we going to make if we come no no <laughs> no it's like how, how are we going to like change everything you're removing the capitalistic frequency from it and absolutely taking it back to pure yeah. artistic expression a absolutely and appreciation and for creation it's, it's totally what it is yeah. it's totally what it is and a lot of people are already self-made and they, they've already got it and they they don't need to do anything to, to pay their bills you know that's it's nice like, but, but they're, they're conscious enough to realize hey you know we can actually do this and, and Todd I, I really respect what you do man I, it's like you, you've impacted a lot of people and, and created a lot of things uh, you know can we talk about you for a second <laughs> I mean you know really you know? dude you can do whatever you want this is, this is uh... <laughs> but, but, but I, I I so appreciate this is happening because of you mm. I really do man I'm like wow okay here's some people that are really doing some things mm. man it's like, you know, tell me, tell me a little bit about you, if you don't mind. 
Come, about me? Yeah, because you know I'm going to post this everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, what do you want to know? <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot to. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Where do you, you want to know? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, you know what? You you, you spend a lot of hours of your day hmm. devoted to actually presenting mm-hmm. content and and mm-hmm. portraying the the spiritual community. You travel a lot, mm-hmm. and uh, you, you you do a lot of energy, and uh, you know. Um, I, I actually won't put you on the spot, man, too hard. I just, I, just I want, don't have a problem I just, with it. I just want, I just uh, want the to show has always been a conversation. It's, uh, I yeah. always tell people you ask questions too, but yeah, I would say two things uh, that you bring into my to my to mind. Um, yes, please. One is, <clears throat> I'm like everybody else. I got a download nine years ago. Well, I woke okay. I, I okay. woke up nine years ago. That's I had a, a divine episode and. Uh, and so I love that. about six, seven, I went on a spirit walk. I went homeless by my own choice. And, uh, okay. and I have, I was having all these divine episodes. But anyway, about awesome. seven, awesome. about seven or eight months into it, uh, I was given the name Sology. So that's what I was talking Sology. about. I got this download. Right. I was given this name Sology by the, the consciousness of, uh, Archangel Michael. And I said, what does this mean? And he said, the other side of truth and I said well what does that mean he said well you figure it out so <laughs> yeah and that was actually on my wife's birthday my, that was on my wife's birthday in 2012 and I wouldn't be there for three years but, but you know so what happened was uh, then so then from that point on so that was on my wife's birthday in 2012 I wouldn't meet her till 2015 yeah, yeah. two days later I opened uh, a Sology group a uh, Facebook group Sology and uh, and then, let's see, three years to the day, three years later to the day, I was given the name Soulji One Studios. Now I'm off the street. I got my own place. I'm starting to get my life back together, and I'm still on the, the path, and, I, and I've been dead. And this is the second part of what I was going to say. So I, from that point on, I was spending every moment was focused on uh expanding what I was receiving, you know, delivering what I was receiving. So it has, it is an all day, every day thing. And, and uh, yeah. it's just a different no type of thing than punching eight to five job. But, uh, but anyway, so I, then I was given Soldier One Studios and, and I said, well, what is this? You know, and they said, well, go downstairs, make a studio. And uh, it's got to do with music. <laughs> and I said, well, what, are what am I supposed to do? And they, they said, you'll figure it out. <laughs> so that's this what I did. This is the coolest, man. This is how you make magic, man. This is how it happened. Dude, and so I would, the best, I would sit in yeah. the, uh, here, I'll show you something. So I would sit in the studio. I sat in the studio the, for the first time it happened, right? And I'm sitting on the couch for two days because I know I've got to pick up the phone and go live. You know, and okay. and I was like, what the hell am I going to say? You know, like, what am I going to do? <laughs> so I sat there for two days and uh, by myself. What's this? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I sat there. And so finally, I, I went, I, I just decided I'm going to go for it. And uh, what happened was uh, I put on break on through the other side by the door oh, man. and I put it on and I flipped I on the that. phone. I said, Hey, my name's and then I just started doing it. But from that, you know, from that point in 2012, <laughs> I, I spent day and day. Yeah. So it's what like I, break on through. Yeah. <laughs> so what I ended up doing yeah. is, yeah. and I didn't have internet most of the time. Oh, okay. I, and I didn't have, challenge, yes. I, I had one, I, I had it. my first smartphone totally given to me in 2015. So what I would do is I would find any music CDs I had, like they would be like Beethoven, it would be blues, it'd be rock, and so what I would do is I would I just started to recite. But I should. Angels. I would start to recite my words to music. It, one take, three five. Yeah, just a lie. Dude, that's and so amazing. So, and so that's that's a magic power right yeah. there, man. When you can actually let yourself just go into free. Exactly. I, I learned, and I, I'm I was, amazed by the story, brother. I, yeah. I love knowing yeah. this background about yeah, you. Yeah, that's man. what happened. I'm loving the Barbara Zadagio, by the way. Yeah, I know. And, and by the way, Jade is with us in the studio. Right on. Yeah, yeah, Jade Lyons. You know, it's like we're rocking it. You know, man, it's like, dude, that free flow, just the experience of like, you know what? I'm going to plug in my amp and I'm just going to, yeah. I'm going to improvise. Good. I'm going to sing. 
I'm going to, I'm going to go out on the land. I'm going to feel the land and the stars. Yeah. Just go into it, man. It's like, and that's what you did. Yeah. And this changed your life. Yeah. But it also changed a lot of other people's lives. Okay. Because right now these broadcasts are a flagship. They're creating a beautiful energy in the world. And I want you to know that I know this. Man. I appreciate that. Dude, it's so cool. And I see evidence of it all the time. I don't know if you know, um, he's got hair like yours. I oh no! Wait Greg, a Greg Prescott. I, I definitely don't know. You know Greg Prescott from in, in 5D. You know Greg Prescott I, I in don't, 5D. I don't. I actually so, don't. It so he's an sense. early, early <laughs> way shower who got out there in 5D, like you know, eight years ago, ten years ago. He was interviewing like Jordan Maxwell and bringing okay. a lot of stuff in, right? Okay. Okay. So we we've, we've become friends. We've collaborated a few times. Okay. So he has just recently, like in the last few months, and physically in the last two or three weeks, hooked up with this beautiful goddess in England, right? Okay, okay. And so, to your point, uh, what happened was we did a collaboration. He went through my friends list in January. He saw this lady, and they connected, right? But there's more to the story. So back in these days, like 2014 and 2015, Yeah, yeah, okay. His, his partner's mother started watching me. Right, Solo <laughs> nice. told the daughter you need to watch this. I love this. Told the daughter See, you need to watch how this. It works, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get it. It's right? like you get it. So he, she told her daughter you need to watch this crazy guy in his in his <laughs> studio doing this stuff every day. And so, but what I'm getting at is the mother then wrote me after they hooked up and said thank you. You, you what you did attracted me. I told my daughter, and now she's found the love of her life. She's found her divine partner. So I'm starting to see, uh, yeah, I'm starting to see where, yeah, we may not have a, a website yet, you know, and that's because of the directives I received. We may not have some of the, the 3D proof and, and metrics, verifications, validations that, that a lot of people do, but I also know that in the non-physical aspect, in the true measurement of the impact that yes. because, and it's not me, it's yes. because of the whole vortex of creation everyone involved that's right but and you know what many, you're, you're, you're an impetus and, and here's one of the biggest things it's like okay if you look at like a, a jimmy hendrix or jim morrison and you right. say okay how do they impact things well you know what they broke on through to the other side just like you said man yeah. it's like they broke on through the other side it doesn't mean they were perfect it doesn't yeah. mean that they did this or that or they were ascetic or they meditated in the cave for seven years yeah. like all power to everyone that does because that's their placement too but the reality is like by doing things we alter reality and you're doing things yeah. brother and it's like we can all feel it and it's like I, I'm so proud of you man mm -hmm. and I mean it and I'm like thank you I'm like, I'm like, I'm like thank you thank you thank you and thank Ty and, and yeah. Jade because you know and Esteban because it's like okay you know we're really doing things yeah. okay alright this is how we alter reality yeah and then what's cool now and this is really cool because so now I come to town well Jade and I have our history like I I, I don't know if I told you this but but I met, I met him on the first day he got to Sedona, which was my last night oh, in Sedona. Wow. What a nice alignment. It was my last night in Sedona, my first wow. initiation through Sedona. Wow. And so, but what I'm saying is, so we've stayed in touch and we kind of connecting, you know. So I came up here and so now they've started the Vibrational Empowerment Network and they're actually ahead of me and I've been doing this nine years. <laughs> we still, I, I, we actually have our two websites, but I've never released them. And again, this is becoming... This is coming from the higher aspects because the timing's not right because it's got to be pure 5D. And I, and I think it started now. So we come over here. We have a collaboration with another network. This was, oh, you went uh, and you yeah. played at it Saturday. Yeah. And it was no agenda, no exactly. expectations. Free there, was, flow. there was no beauty, no plastic, no mask, Love, nobody trying to respect, impress. And honor, the energy of brotherhood, the energy of the expressions. Yeah, was so like, just wow. was just incredible, and I think that's so what good. we're playing with now. I think Dude, we're that's with what it. we're doing. Yeah. We're we're in divine magic right now. It's like, and you know, I, I could put a fine point on it and say like, okay, what is it really? It's like, well, you can't define it, <laughs> but but the energy is there. It's like we are all doing this right now, and we're actually in transcendental divine magic because divinity is not about division. Divinity is about fluidity. Divinity is about like, okay. You know, there's a universe here. Okay, how can all the beings live into the best possible? But you know, it's not going to be perfect. But nonetheless, there's an intention 
that carries and it's like we're all carrying it and this is like you're you're in that okay and everyone here is in that it's like you know I, i'm so honored that i was actually asked to come up and play it's like it's totally unexpected and uh it's like i come with it but it's like you know bumbling around and he's a little bit of you know, but 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 i realized like no this is a divine honor this is beautiful this is something that's like we're, we're just all we all see each other in namaste okay that's it and we can move in that that's when reality is going to be uplifted, and we're doing it. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, we're all doing it together now. I agree, and it's a, there's a lot of power in the spontaneous. You know. Yeah, just that free flow. It's like yeah. be able to think on your feet. If you can think on your feet and feel where the alignments are, that's where the real magic is. Exactly. And, yeah, and I, I, I so appreciate your point, man. That's why I like the, the right. lives. I like the li- I've always understood the power of the live because, you know, you can... Uh, you know, like even in the early days, you know, I just, I probably, we've probably done about 42, 4,500 video productions. And Amazing. Half of them have been this show. Amazing. And I would bet you that um, wow. there's pro- there's not been a lot of editing. Now, there were some things I did that, that were put together that I had to edit, like a piece mm-hmm. of this show and a piece of that show. But like, for instance, the, the Soul Speak music videos that I, that I created... Um, and collaborated with other people. There's about 90 of them, and I think maybe three were not first takes. The rest of them were just first takes. So like, there's something about the raw that is coming back into, you know what I mean? I mean, it's- It's Keep it real, man. Yeah, there's something about raw. Authentic, beautiful, from your heart, in the moment. Yeah. You know, you're so right, bro. Unabashed, unashamed. Unabashed. It's like, you know, I've shown my ass so many times. <laughs> on, I, I swear I have. I have said, I have, over the years. No, please. <laughs> no, but I have. It's true. But, you know, it's like some, but, you know, something I think stuff. people okay. actually, they actually uh, appreciate it. They thought, oh, man, well, that's. Now, some people would they, say, they, what an know. idiot, but, no, 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 but like, the thing is, it, yeah. and you see people do it. It's, it's amazing when they get on their live and they just bear it all. You know, and, and, and when it comes from your heart, it's like, hey, you know what? I'm humble. Hmm. I'm just a human being. I want to do good things in the world, but that doesn't make me perfect. And you just like put yourself out. It's like, hey, it's, it's okay if my guitar string breaks. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play anyway, <laughs> you know, but so what? So what if my guitar falls over on the guitar rack, you know? It's like, so what if, if anything, anything that could possibly be imaginable, it's like when we're authentic and we're real, it's like, hey, this isn't, this isn't about anything other than like, you know what, we feel a divine energy and it's like, that's who we are. It's like, it doesn't mean that we're perfect, but that is still who we are. It's like, and people can feel that. And then the right people, they're really going to say, it's like, man, I, I don't, I don't care what happened on camera to them. That, that person's like really doing their best and they're trying and that's it. Yeah. Very much so. Very cool, man. So what do you got coming up? You got anything going on? You want to, you know, man, uh, I, I've gotten back into being a promoter. Yeah. You were telling me about this. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it's not really about the details so much. I won't go too far into it, but, uh, what I've realized is like, you know what is, it's only going to be the clients that I deal with Mm -hmm. that I really believe in and I'm going to promote them. That's Mm -hmm. it. Okay. And so that's always who I've been. Okay. No matter what I'm doing. It's like, it's like, what's the truth? What's real? What's, what's truly beneficial? And, you know, and I'm, I'm a great, great promoter. And um, so I'm kind of doing that again after a break from that. And yeah. uh, that's what's up. And, uh, you know, the best way to find me is um, probably Julian Force Musician on Facebook. Um, and uh, mm. the other way to find me is uh, at, uh, at Darren Keith Hastings on Facebook. Uh, D-A-R-R-I-N-K-I-E-T-H. H A S T N G, and uh, but other words, uh, you know what? Really, I'm just really proud and honored of all of you, and mm-hmm. uh, that's that's the truth. That's how I really feel. It's not really about me right now. It's like mm-hmm. okay, Todd's doing stuff, Jade's doing stuff. Okay, Ty's doing stuff. You know, Esteban's doing stuff. It's like wow. Okay, let's let's rock that. Okay, I'm all about promoting these guys and uh, promoting you, man, because it's like I feel it. You know. And and that's that's really the truthful answer. Far out, man. Yeah. yeah. What am I going to say to that? But I did want to ask you: <laughs> Are you are you are you um, active at all uh, music wise and with your guitar playing? You know, not so much. You're I just mean, kinda... uh, 
Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the weird truth is, is that, uh, to really make it make sense, you know, in a short story, is that my performances have been my practices. I really don't play the guitar that much on my own. I, I, I spent severe levels of discipline in my previous years, you know, it's like for like, you know, periods of time where I'm mastering certain skills, it's like for two weeks, you know, for, I'm, I'm all on it. But as far as like actually uh, practicing and playing, I'm really, I'm really not doing it right now. You yeah. know, I'm just kind of like easing off and like, yeah. okay, you know, I'm not really playing at home. I'm not really playing out. You know, just like here and there a little bit. But I always can when I need to. But yeah. uh, what I'm looking forward to is uh, kind of gearing back up into um, just sheer uh, focused discipline on playing music and recording. And uh, so I'm going to record a new album here sometime before 2020 is over. And that's what's the, the, the main focus is like, okay, sometime before 2020 is over, record that new album. Mm. And that's, what, that's what's on my mind. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Perfect, man. No, I look forward so to cool, man. I look forward to collaborate with you more and more. Ah oh, man, always, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. Thank this you is so an much. open book, brother. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. for the kind words and yeah, a good All way right. to end the day. Okay. Thanks so much, man. Yeah. It's a, it a, it a great time, man. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Right on. Okay. All right. So we're gonna check out today. It was a very powerful, strong day, and uh, I would imagine uh, what's tomorrow? Blur day. <laughs> Tomorrow's Blur's Day. Uh, I know Isabella Green's going to come in. She's in. I'm not sure what else we're going to wind up with. I can't think of the top of my head. I think Israel and Michael will be here leaving tomorrow. So they may make an appearance. But, uh, yeah. So let me just say this. We are uh, the address 13. 1385-89A in West Sedona, and uh, we are at the multi multi offices. Check out. Thank you. Peace out.